But what about people who are vaccinated? Well, Shep, it's a great question. And I am concerned about the Delta variant. This is a variant of COVID-19 that has proven to be far more transmissible than any version of COVID that we've seen to date. The good news is that if you are vaccinated, you have a high degree of protection, particularly against hospitalizations and deaths. That's the good news. But the bad news is that if you are not vaccinated, again, you are at significant risk. So that is why I'm urging people to get vaccinated as quickly as you can. It's the safest way uh, to, to keep yourself, your family, and your community safe from this virus. The mRNA tests have come back very good against the Delta variant. What do we know about those who've taken Johnson & Johnson shots? Should they continue to wear masks with Delta spreading? Well, what we know, Shep, is yes, the mRNA vaccine has demonstrated that it is a high degree of efficacy, about 88% effective at uh, protecting people against COVID-19 if they get both doses. I want to emphasize the both doses part because in this study, they found that people who only got one dose had a markedly lower uh, level of protection. As far as Johnson & Johnson goes, while we're still awaiting direct studies of Johnson & Johnson and the Delta variant, we have reasons to be hopeful because the J&J vaccine has proven to be quite effective against preventing hospitalizations and deaths with all the variants that we've seen to date. Also, the AstraZeneca vaccine, which is, you can think of it as a cousin to this vaccine built on a similar platform as J&J, also proved to be quite effective at preventing hospitalizations and death uh, against the Delta variant. So more data to come there, but reason to be hopeful that you are well protected also if you had the J&J vaccine. Officials at the World Health Organization and now some here in the United States are asking the vaccinated to wear masks indoors. Should they? Well, here's what the science tells us, Shep. It tells us that if you are fully vaccinated, that's two weeks after your last dose of the vaccine, your chances of getting sick with COVID or transmitting it to others is low. It's a low risk. Now, it's nothing is zero risk. And there are some people who may decide if they are in an area that has a high degree of viral transmission or if they're living at home with somebody who is unvaccinated, that they may want to wear a mask. And that's okay. The CDC in its guidance uh, essentially was giving people flexibility and choice, uh, but wanted people to know that if you are fully vaccinated, your risk of getting this virus uh, and, or passing it on is low, which is why it said masks are not uh, required indoors or outdoors if you're fully vaccinated. Doctor, Mr. Surgeon General, thank you so much for your time and for your service. Thank you so much, Chef. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.